Welcome back to CBS Mornings, where we are taking another look at the historic settlement between Dominion Voting Systems and Fox News, accused of defamation for knowingly airing false claims, phony claims, really, that Dominion helped rig the 2020 election against former President Donald Trump. The voting machine company asked for $1.6 billion in damages. What Fox agreed to in the end was to pay a little less than half of that, $787.5 million. The news company put out a statement uh, to, quote, acknowledge the court's rulings, finding certain claims about Dominion to be false. Fox did not apologize, and three primetime hosts who aired those false claims did not mention the settlement on their air last evening. Joining us now is Davida Brooke, one of Dominion's lead attorneys in this case. Uh, Ms. Brooke, thank you very much for being here. A lot of people paying attention to this case, a lot of people paying attention to this settlement. I'd love for you, if you could, to just take us into the room yesterday. The judge is ready, the jury is ready, and then at the last moment, you strike this deal. What was the mood like as you're at the table with Fox's lawyers on the other side? Thank you. Good morning. You know, it was bittersweet for Dominion in the sense that I think like so many of us, we were all excited to go to trial and to continue in our efforts to expose so much of what we've already been able to expose over the course of this litigation. But what yesterday really brought for my client Dominion Voting Systems is it brought peace. And so with the settlement, the good people of Dominion are now able to try to begin to move on with their lives a little bit. Why was it enough for you to take the money, which is substantial, don't get me wrong, but no apology? Why did you agree to a deal that does not include an on-air acknowledgement and an apology from this company that has done you such harm over the last uh, three years? Defamation law gets you two things. It gets you accountability and it gets you justice. And we feel like we got both those things in spade. Like I said, over the past two and a half years, we've been able to expose everything that Fox knew when it broadcast these horrific lies about my company. The country now knows that. The world now knows that. And with the summary judgment ruling we got from this great court, we now have a decision that those lies were clearly just that. The other thing we needed was justice. And you know how a company like Fox apologizes? It apologizes with money. And $787 million, we figured, spoke volumes. Well, Ms. Brooke, if, if I work in the sales department of Dominion Voting and I'm dealing with a county looking to buy my machines, and that county's got a lot of conservative Fox viewers who don't believe Dominion is a legit company, that believes Dominion is switching votes or against Donald Trump, you don't have anything on paper, correct me if I'm wrong, from Fox Corporation saying, actually, Dominion is a fine and legitimate company, and we are sorry for what we said earlier. We have a statement from Fox News finally, finally after so long acknowledging the court's ruling and that the statements were false. And I can tell you that the information that we're getting from the election officials is just wonderful. They are incredibly grateful for the fight that we put up, for the lies that we exposed, and for the justice that we were able to get, really not just for Dominion, but for them, because they too have spent the last two and a half years facing harassment, facing threats, and facing all of these types of things that no one should ever have to face simply for doing their job. Yeah. Was the sticking point in the end uh, the apology or the dollar amount? For us, again, it was about accountability and it was about justice. The kids at Fox, they're big boys and girls. If they want to say something more, they can and they should. We'll, we'll see if we hear more from the big boys and girls, as you put it. Uh, there is another lawsuit, Smartmat Smartmatic Voting Company, uh, Voting Systems, an even larger dollar amount that they're asking for. Will you be sharing? Have you already begun to share information with their attorneys? So I am not coordinating with the attorneys for Smartmatic. That said, my client, Dominion Voting System, does have several other cases that it is pursuing in the aftermath of the 2020 presidential elections and the lies that it was spread about it, including one right here in this courthouse behind me in front of the same judge who oversaw the Fox News case. Against This one is against Newsmax. We also have lawsuits pending against One America News, as well as various individuals in the District of Columbia. And we look forward to moving on to those cases. Ms. 
Ms. Brooke, just one final question before I let you go. For those people who were rooting for a trial, who are not going to get one now, who think this was great for Dominion, great for its investors, maybe great for its employees as well, but bad for democracy, bad for America, what do you say to that viewer in particular? I say to that viewer, this is why we settled when we did. We didn't settle six months ago. We didn't settle before the information was able to become public. You now know, we all now know, Fox knew. And we are grateful that that happened first. All right, Davida Brooks, 787 and a half, can't forget the half million dollar settlement with Fox Corporation. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.